here I am. <laughs> I'm going to make some company worthy waffles today and I'm going to bring you along with me for the ride. So we're going to just get all the, the ducks in a row here, get started. And I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to take all my ingredients. I'm going to get my waffle maker going. I'm going to actually, let's see, I'm going to go like this. And first, let me tell you that this is, I'm very excited about this because this is the last day that I am involved in this project called, yes, it's called, are you ready? Drum roll. It's called The Vegan Healthy Bundle. Do you have to be vegan? No, you don't have to be vegan at all. As a matter of fact, waffles are good for anybody, whether you're making them vegan or not, right? But these happen to be vegan because that's the way I cook. And I'm going to get up here on my Facebook too, so I can see this happening. And there we go. I see myself. I put this right over here. And let's see, just trying to get every, all my ducks in a row. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get started right away. First of all, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to plug in and see this plug, my waffle maker. You don't see, need to see it quite yet. First, we're going to just get all the ingredients together. Uh, I'm not going to give you amounts because it's that will take a lot of time. But I will tell you that the, the amounts for this, this recipe is in Nutmeg Notebook's entry, her ebook, or I should say their ebook, because it's Tammy and her husband, Tom, this power duo that is just incredible. And they have a book called, um, I can tell you exactly what the name of, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you the title because it's really cool. It's called this cooking. And you're probably seeing it backwards cooking for a company. I wonder if I can hold on. You know what? I am going to see if I can mirror. Let me try this and see if that will work. Mirror my camera. Yep. I did that. Okay. Let's try this again. So this is cooking for company, easy plant-based entertaining, you know, on Sunday mornings when you have company and you want to serve them something yummy and delicious, right? This is a great way to do it. So the cool thing about her ebook, their ebook, is that in the table of contents, you can literally click on the title of the recipe you want to make, and it takes you right to the recipe. So I'm going to make blender oat waffles. And if I wanted to go back to the table of contents, there's a little tiny link at the bottom, back to contents. It's a really brilliant way to, to set up this ebook. Okay, so let's get going. First things first, I'm gonna to go to the directions. In a jar, I'm gonna get a jar or a bowl. I'm gonna do a bowl, why not? So this is the real thing. I am actually taking you along and showing you with Michael in the background. <laughs> so perhaps Michael wants to, yes, he says hello. Um, okay, I'm showing you for real. And I think what I'll do is I'm gonna move this so that you can actually see what I'm doing, okay? You can see me, I'm here, but I want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start by adding vinegar to the, and I'm making half the recipe because I don't need the whole thing. I don't wanna make extras this morning. Uh, so I'm just gonna make, I'm just in my, in, with my excellent math skills, I am going to put everything half. Um, here, so I have some vinegar, and the vinegar, let's see, okay, the vinegar is what helps to kind of curdle, if you will, the milk that I'm going to put in, and it makes it into buttermilk, and you've heard of buttermilk pancakes, buttermilk waffles, right? Uh, so I have my vinegar, and the next thing I'm going to do is add my flax meal, and I have to get that out of the refrigerator. Do that. Now, I always keep my flax meal in the refrigerator. For those of you who bought flax meal and think you're doing the healthy thing, make sure you keep it in the refrigerator because seeds get rancid really quickly and you don't want that to happen. So we're going to add our flax meal and that's going to make the egg mixture that usually is in regular non-plant-based waffles. So we're making it using plant materials, which is flax meal and a little bit of liquid, in this case, apple cider vinegar. 
right? So I'm going to put apple cider vinegar in here. I, I did the apple cider vinegar. I'm going to do flax seeds. And there you go. You don't have to do it exactly because it's close enough. All right, and then I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to grab a spoon and just mix it up. I want it to actually just get a little bit um, gelatinous. So there you go. I'm just going to let that sit for a second. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to grab my blender. What's next? So I have my high power blender. Now, some people have a Vitamix. I am lucky enough to have two. This one is a blend tech. And the reason I have two is not because I'm just oh so special, but because when I was blogging more regularly a few years ago, uh, companies would send me things. And so I had a Vitamix and blend tech, which is kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to go back here and to my blender, which you can see right here. I am going to add my rolled oats. That goes first. And I'm working out of the, the new kitchen that we have, which is absolutely scrumptious and so lovely. All right, so I'm going to add my rolled oats. I use sprouted oats that I get at Costco. Okay. And I'm also going to add, and this is what I'm so excited about. I love, love, love. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that yet. Hold on. I'm going to process these first. Let's see. And you know what? I should have re read the, always read your recipe. Goodness gracious. Always read your recipe first. <laughs> okay. In the container, you're going to add the oats. I'm going to make a cup of oats aside. Just three cups. And Oh, okay. So you know what? I'm going to actually, I'm going to take some of this out because I'm going to save some of it. Okay, all right, so I'm going to blend that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, this is going to be a little bit loud, and I'm going to let you see. I'm going to go over the corner, and this is a working kitchen. So this goes in here. This is going to be very loud. I'm warning Michael because he usually plugs his ears. <laughs> that's blended into flour. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I want to make sure that you can see this. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to empty this into a bowl. I want to get, get it out of the way. You're hearing lots of noise in this kitchen because like I said, it's a working, it's a working kitchen. All right, so we're going to set that aside for now, and I'm going to add my milk, and I'm going to show you what I use. Let me go back up here so you can see. I'm going to use this. One of my milks of choice is Trader Joe's Organic Non-Dairy Soy Beverage. It's soy milk. It's basically soybeans and water. That's it. Those two ingredients. So I'm going to add, so now I have to really, really concentrate, <coughs> or... I'm going to put the wrong amount in. So every job out there in, in social media land is to not let me uh, forget any of the ingredients. <laughs> okay, a little Julia Childish here. Okay, I like that, childish. Okay, so I'm going to do um, two tablespoons. Okay, so here we go. We've got my plant milk. And... Yeah, I want to make sure I do the right amount. Sometimes I actually check it twice because I want to be absolutely sure that I've got the right amount. Okay, so I've got my plant milk. Let me get this out of the way. Then, oh, that's so interesting. Okay, I'm just, ah, ah, ah. Unsweetened to add the apple cider vinegar. Okay, so 
I'm gonna flax meal. Okay. Ah, see, I'm you know, I'm I'm pretty good at recipes, but even I'm reading this going, hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna I'm gonna wing it because I know that I can. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit. This is what makes the buttermilk. So you add the the um the vinegar to the milk. Okay, and that makes it sort of like buttermilk. Okay, so we've got that. So I'm going to add the plant milk. And I didn't, you notice I didn't wash the blender out. I didn't need to. So I have my plant milk. And then I'm going to add and plant milk and peel. Oh, I got to add some bananas. So give me a second. I'm going to get banana now. I have to show you, this is what my kitchen looks like. Sometimes I have three bundles like this. I like them nice and speckled even another day because they're nice and sweet and they're great for making nice cream or baking. I use bananas to bake with because they take the place of, of the ingredients that I would otherwise, the oil, the, the, um, you know, the butter. So there you go. Let me get my bananas. And I need Right, we have a banana here. Let's see, how much do I need? I need, I'm gonna put this in. And I'm even okay, you know, some people are like grossed out by this, but like this is just a little bit of a um a, a bruise, but the banana is still fine. So put that in there. I'm going to the next thing. And I'm so excited, we love having waffles on Sunday. Or waffles or pancakes, yum, yum, yum. All right, so I have the milk, I have the um, I'm going to add this to it, which is the flax, all right, okay, got that, let's see what else we have in here, so we have the milk, the scent, and the bananas, and I'm going to blend that until smooth, so now I have to add this, now there is a little bit of this on here, I'm just going to wash it off, it's not a big deal, okay, go here and let's blend that. So I'm going to go again over to the corner. This is my working kitchen and I'm going to blend it until smooth. A high power blender like this is really, really necessary if you're doing plant cooking. It just helps. You don't have to have one, but it really, really helps. Okay, so now I did that, and now it says to add the ground oats, which I have here. These are going to go in here. Ground oats, and I'm going to add the vanilla. Now, this calls for vanilla powder. I don't have any vanilla powder, so you can also use vanilla extract, which I have So I will use just a little, little, little bit of vanilla extract. Oh, I'm so excited. The, the waffle maker is warm. It's ready. I can tell. All right. And then I'm going to add some cinnamon and nutmeg. So let's get that here. You know, if I didn't have cinnamon, if I didn't have nutmeg even, what I would do is just use pumpkin pie spice. And so I know that my nutmeg is over here. Grab it. All right. So we have nutmeg. Let's see. How much nutmeg do we need? Cinnamon. I'm doing the cinnamon. Okay. I'm going to go here. I love cinnamon. So the more cinnamon, the better. All right. I've got me some cinnamon. Now, you want to get this recipe and about which is in an ebook with a I don't know how many like 20 30 40 some something like that recipes and my ebook which is the rise and shine oatmeal ebook and a whole bunch of other recipe books over 2000 recipes and exercise programs videos courses on health like uh, there's one on gut health there's mindset there's how to how to go plant based there's yoga there are courses there's a gut course by 
uh, Dr. McDougall, Dr. Essels. And there's so many doctors that are in this that have submitted that it's kind of a no-brainer. And it's only available from, it was the March 1st to March 10th. So today at 11.59, bye-bye, no more. So if you think you want to get it, please go to my link. It's You can see it scrolling if you're on Facebook and YouTube, or you can just uh, send me you know, send me a message and I'll send you the link. As a matter of fact, maybe what I'll do, I know what I do. I'm going to go here. I'm going to make your life so easy. I'm going to grab the link and I'm going to put it in a comment so that you see it. And here we go. Okay. So I put it right there. So you should be able to grab that link. And Corey says, I wish I understood better how to make replacements for vegan baking. I'm pretty dependent on using an actual vegan recipe. You know, that is such a good point. And I think that I will do a lesson on that and teach you how to use replacements, banana, applesauce. It works perfectly. People don't believe it until they try it. And then, then they're like stunned that it actually works like a cake. So um, yes, yes, yes. Did I do the nutmeg? I don't think I did. If I didn't, yeah, no, I didn't do it. So I need here. Okay. And I'm just going to get my nutmeg again. All right, let's read the directions, Ellen, shall we? Add the, uh, oh, the one thing I didn't add, which I'm the most excited about, look at this hair, is the buckwheat. So this is light buckwheat flour. I keep all of my flours and uh, grains and stuff in jars, in mason jars. I just like how they look. And I like putting pretty labels on them, which I write with a Sharpie. All right. So I love buckwheat. Have you ever had um, kasha varnishkas, which is an Eastern European dish that's made with bow tie noodles and kasha, which is a grain. And it's very nutty and delicious. So that's what buckwheat is made from kasha, from buckwheat, actually. So you're ordering the bundle today. Excellent. Grab my link, would you? And looking forward to using some of your oatmeal recipes in my preschool. Oh, your kids are going to love them. Let me know. You should do actually do a video of them singing one of my songs and eating one of my oatmeal recipes. That would be great. So yeah, my link is right there. Uh, you can see it. And if you, if you want the link and you're not sure you're on a different platform and can't see that link, just send me a message. You can email me ellen at ellen's healthykitchen.com, Ellen's, E-L-L-E-N-S, healthykitchen.com. Okay, so now I'm going to add the buckwheat, which like I said, I'm like super, super excited about. So I'm going to do this, and I do want to do this exactly. In fact, I'm going to go here and do it over this bowl so I can really do it exactly. Okay, so I'm going to show you because I want you to see what I'm doing. See, I didn't do it over here because I was afraid that I might put extra in. And this is, it's okay to put a little drop extra of apple cider vinegar, but I don't want to do that with the flour. So I'm actually using a very unprofessional way. <laughs> Let me get a knife. And I will show you. You really want to do it exactly. So I don't know if you saw that I did that. I just went like that. Okay. I'm going to put that. Put this over here. Get it out of the way. And I'm going to show you, I'm putting it in here. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I am going to make sure I have everything I need in here. I added the ground oats, the buckwheat, the vanilla, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and I'm going to process that until it's well combined. And I can, um, I can add the tamper if I need to. And uh, when it's well blended, I'm going to add the extra little bit of oats. So... So you see some of the recipe is going to have blended oats that made it into oat flour, and some will have the actual oats not blended, and it gives it a little bit of texture. All right, so here we go. And you're going to actually watch the waffles get cooked because I have my waffle maker right here. Okay, so I'm going to turn this so you can see it. A little bit of corner. And... down so you can see it again. Cool. Right. Now I'm going to add, remember, the extra oats. 
going to go in here and I'm going to mix that up with a spatula. I just want to mix it. And it gives it like, a, as Tammy says in the recipe, it gives it a nice rustic look to have those bits of, of, um, of those oats. Okay, <laughs> now I am going to spoon it, spoon the batter in, oops. All right. I'm gonna spoon the batter into the waffle maker. And her recipe says to leave it for eight to nine minutes. My, th this, that's an interesting um, fact because the every waffle maker is different. She uses a Cuisinart waffle maker, and if it's the one I think it is, she uh, it, it's one that has plates that you can change. So it's, you can have make waffles or you can make pancakes. It's got a plate that has four circles where you can put the the um, the pancakes in. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to do this. Right? Okay. Well, here we go. Here's the true test. I'm going to move this. I want to make it really make it so you can see it. Okay, I'm going to move this over. This. Okay. I'm going to turn this down so you can see what I'm doing. And, okay. Now, I am going to take this. I'm just going to pour it in. going to press it down and that's it okay now I can guarantee you that this is going to be done in about three minutes because this is a really fast waffle maker I'm going to ask my dear husband if he made me coffee did you make me coffee can you that would be great you can wait if you want until this is done and then we can do it I'll put the waffles aside all right, so what are we going to put on our waffles? Any any suggestions? Um, I think, oh, you know, I think we're going to do blueberries. That's what we're going to do. Get my blueberries out of the refrigerator. If I, if and I can find them. Blueberries. Oh, there they are. Blueberries, blueberries. Okay, we have our blueberries. Okay, do some blueberries. And I'm gonna get my plates out. And I'm so excited and so hungry both. And hungry. Okay, so we have our plates ready to go. And the only thing about this waffle maker is that it only makes one. And so I usually do it in batches, but it cooks up so quickly that it's okay. And I am going to this over here. All right, who has a question? Somebody must have a question. Um, Corey, I have to tell you that I have noticed your posts on Facebook and your food looks absolutely stupendous. I always I always make a, you know, I always like it and I'd love to know more about your, your path and your journey. Uh, I've been following this lifestyle for just about five years and I am enamored with it. I love it. It's uh, been such a great way for me to get rid of my indigestion, which I had, and as a singer, really as anybody, but as a singer, that was not great. See, they're done. Okay, go figure. Corey says, applesauce, blueberries, pecans, and a splash of maple syrup, almond butter, and strawberries. Close second. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. See, now I'm gonna grab a fork so that I can pull these out. I just, I can't believe that they're done so quickly, but what the heck? Get this pretty plate. Isn't that pretty? And then put it on there. You know, you eat with your eyes too. You have digestive enzymes in your mouth. And as soon as you even start thinking about food, those enzymes start to go, oh, oh, she's going to feed me. Okay. <laughs> you see, now I'm going to, I'm talking, yeah, my digestive, my enzymes are talking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's not quite ready yet, I can tell. So I'm going to let that go. And let's see, I have. Um, and let's see what else is happening. So all this afternoon, I have uh, um, 
back-to-back -back interviews with different people who have contributed to the bundle. And I am very excited about it. Uh, one of them is Chef uh, James Santo, or Santo. And he's just a, a brilliant chef and very innovative. And uh, I'm going to be interviewing him. And you'll see it here. Um, you, actually, I'm not sure if you're going to see it on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. I'm not sure which one we're going to go on. So just stay tuned. If you're not on Instagram, please follow me. I have two profiles. I have Ellen's Healthy Kitchen and I have Ellen Allard Music, both. Let's see if this is on any. Yeah, it's done. All right. I'm going to show you. It is done. Look at how easily that comes out. I'm going to put that right here. And I'm going to actually... Michael, do you want to get started on yours? It's done. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give Michael his. I have the butter out. Do you have the butter out? Um, yeah, it's vegan butter, so we're going to put the vegan butter. Where is it? Right on the island. On the island. Ah, I see it. Okay. Um, let me get that. I'm coming. Okay, we got him some butter. Get him a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your patience. And I'm going to let that go and I'm going to wash him some blueberries. Okay. Put that on here. And how beautiful does that look, right? So we have vegan blender oat waffles, and he's going to love those. So I'm going to give those to him over here and uh, give him a fork. He's making me my coffee. Okay. 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 Very appreciative of. And uh, I'm going to make another one for myself. Okay. So let me just go up here and see if anybody has questions. Ah, Corey, my, my sister's on here. And she said, you won't be sorry. She bought the bundle the first day. And she just calls me every day and tells me what she's made from it, which um, is really exciting. OK, I'm going to put more of this in. Now, in the, in the recipe, it says that if it gets too thick, I'm going to see exactly what it says. The batter gets thicker as it sits. If it gets too thick, add two to four tablespoons of plant milk. So I'm actually going to do that. Give me a second. And um, this is, this is sure. I know. nothing, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit, and I'm I am going to just wing it. Which you know, when you are a an experienced cook, you can do that. You don't have to measure it exactly. So I'm gonna take this and put this down for a second while I go and. Give that a whirl in the blender just to get it mixed up again. It might not even be enough. I might have to do a little bit more. Okay. Right here. All right. All right. And I'm going to leave the the uh, camera where it is so that you can see when I pour it. Yep. Here. Okay, you're good. You're good. Okay. And I still even have a little bit of batter left, but I think what I'm going to do is try to get that extra batter out. I'd rather have it spill over a little. Nope, that's not true. You know what? I have a little tiny waffle maker that I can use as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go like this. Okay. And you could see from the last waffle, it took about three, four minutes. It's, this waffle maker really cooks quickly. So while that's going, uh, who has a question? I would love to answer your questions. I'm gonna read a little bit more and uh, just give you some more information. Uh, and maybe I could show you even a picture. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a picture from Tammy and Tom's. They are, they're on Facebook and they're all over social. They're called Nutmeg Notebook. And this is, the, this is what we're going for. <clears throat> she makes her own blueberry, sort of a slurry with, um, you know, she cooks down blueberries. And how lovely would that be to serve for your company, right? With fruit salad 
and a little bit of tofu scramble if you wanted. Um, oh, you can see mine is even spilling outside of the waffle maker. All right, so maybe I filled it a little bit too much. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna save this for it when I'm done with this um, video and I'm gonna take the little bit of batter that's left and I will make a mini waffle because I don't like to waste. And you know, sometimes in the middle of the afternoon I might get hungry and I'll have a little bit of that with some nice cream that I have in the freezer. It's nice cream is ice cream that's not made with dairy and it's delicious depending on what your flavor profile is. I tend to make chocolate or strawberry. Um, so, okay, this is still going. The, the light is still red. And when the light turns um, green, I'm still going to let it go for another minute or two. See, it's green. And I know that if I try to lift this, yeah, it's still sticking a little bit. So I'm just going to wait, give it another minute while we talk. I'll get my coffee done. Is coffee over here? Yeah. Okay. And my coffee, have my French press. That's how I make my coffee, how she rolls. Put that down like this. And I'm gonna pour me some coffee. Okay, I love this French press because I usually make a full pot and sometimes I don't drink it the second cup for an hour and it stays nice and hot in this as opposed to the glass French presses, which it doesn't stay hot. So I'm gonna do this. Now I'm gonna show you what I do since I have a moment. Let's see if this is, no, oh, it's still sticking a little bit. I use a half a cup of milk. I am a small boned woman and I'm trying to get as much calcium as I can into my body. So what I do is I heat this and then I'll show you what I put in it. I'm gonna give that 30 seconds, let that go. And then while that's heating, I put a half a teaspoon of this calcium citrate into my milk and I whisk it up and you don't even taste it. I put that in my milk, in my coffee. And um, this way I know I'm getting a little bit of an extra boost of calcium. And for somebody like me, I'm small boned. I need to do that. Um, I will also be taking my vitamin D. And by the way, I'm not a doctor. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm not prescribing anything. I'm just telling you what I do. Uh, and I do also take a woman's multivitamin, which I'll just stick right now in my mouth because why not? I have a little bit of a hard time swallowing pills, and these are easier. They're gummies. Okay. So, let me get my whisker. Okay. And I'll show you what I do. Well, here's my milk. I'm going to grab this. Um, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of the calcium citrate. It's made by a company called Now. And I got it from Amazon. If you want to see it, take a screenshot. All right? And then I whisk it with this whisk. It kind of frogs it. I'm trying not to get it everywhere. <laughs> All right. I've tried it with other milks and it works best with the soy milk. I've tried to fry the oat milk, but it doesn't work too well. Okay. It's almost done to my liking. I like it really thick and frothy. Okay. And I think my waffles are probably done. So let's put this over here. Yep. Perfect. Okay. You can see I'm going to take it out. Plate. And here we go. Beautiful. And I'm going to leave it plugged in because I'm going to make the rest of that batter in a little bit. And uh, I'm going to grab some, I don't put any butter on it because I don't use butter. <clears throat> but I am going to put some blueberries. I'm going to put that on here. And that's my breakfast. I'm gonna add some maple syrup. And uh, how beautiful is that, right? 
I'm going to take a picture in a moment. I have my coffee, and I'll show you what happens when I pour my frog's milk in. I'll do this. How lovely is that? And I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to it. And then I have my coffee. Mmm. So, that's it. So, I just made for you blender oat waffles, and they are... In a an ebook, yeah, similar frothy, cool. Wait, Corey says, is there an ingredient that helps keep it from sticking? I have a teeny tiny waffle maker. I make cinnamon pear waffles, but it really stuck. Yeah, I have been through so many waffle makers. You have no idea. This one works like a charm. And if you want a link to it, let me know. Just send me a private message on Facebook or Instagram, wherever, and I'll send you the link to uh, on Amazon. Um, I would love to get the Cuisinart maker. It's a four square maker that um, Nutmeg Notebook uses. And maybe I will at some point because it's nice to be able to sit down and eat waffles at the same time with my husband. My husband is sitting over there. How are they? Company worthy. They're company worthy? Cool. They're tasty. Okay. Can you taste the buckwheat in them or do you not, not detect it? You don't detect a little bit. And that's, it's good to, you know, it's good to try different grains and different, just you want a diversity for your gut, your microbiome, which is the, basically it's a fancy word for all the bugs that are in your intestines and you want to keep them happy and you want to keep them on their toes. And it's good to have a diversity of different grains and fruits and vegetables and seeds and nuts. So, um, you know, make sure that you do something like this where you have buckwheat and not just oats. Okay, so anyway, where were we? Um, I uh, I wanted to just say, if you want the bundle, it's only it, it's a crazy thing. It's only available until midnight, eleven fifty nine Pacific time. I'll be asleep by then. But if you don't get it by then, this particular collection of one hundred and fifty eBooks, which is some recipes, some exercise videos, some um, just courses, they're like full courses. There's a seven hundred dollar course in this bundle. Uh, there's all kinds of subjects and everything you can imagine. And um, yeah, you should, you just, it's $49. I mean, it's kind of like a no brainer. You know, that's about eight times at Starbucks, right? And this way you have these uh, amazing recipes and eBooks for, for life. So I highly recommend that you do it and do it right now while you're thinking of it. I don't, I hate being salesy, but I also don't want you to miss out on this amazing opportunity. So go do it and uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can always reach me on all the socials. Happy to answer any questions. If you're thinking about starting some sort of a healthy journey, whether it's um, fully vegan or whether you want to just do a little dip your toes into plant-based, whatever it is that you want, let me know. And I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. Okay, my friends. I'm going to end this live stream and go have my waffle. Okay.